and it's Rachel from Calico Fox Gaming with Let's Play Animal Crossing New Horizons Episode 1 or Episode 2. The first one that's a video. Some of you may have seen my live stream, some of you may not. So just in case you don't want to sit through two hours of me trying to figure out how to do this YouTube thing, I'm going to do a quick recap of what's happened so far. The game begins when you are leaving on your deserted island getaway package brought to you by Nook Incorporated. In this package, you escape to a deserted island and create your own paradise as you explore, create, and customize your own island. Your island getaway has a wealth of natural resources that can be used to your heart's desire. You can hunt down insects at the crack of dawn, decorate your paradise throughout the day, and enjoy a sunset at the beach or fishing in the ocean. The time of the day and the season match real life, so each day on your island is a chance to check in and find new surprises all year round. Build your community from scratch on a deserted island brimming with possibility. Create your own personal getaway and customize your character, home, decorations, and even the landscape itself. Collect materials and construct everything from furniture to tools, and then use what you create to give your island a personal touch. Watch as the time of day, seasons, match real life, even in your hemisphere. Each day holds potential for surprises and discoveries. And get to know all the island residents, new and returning. After we finished our application and boarded the plane, we headed out to our new home. We're not the only ones living here. I was joined by Rocket, Axel, as well as Tom Nook, Timmy, and Tommy. After we plopped down our tents and had a small party to celebrate our new life, we picked out the island's name and, har and had some juice harvested from the island's bounty, which for me was oranges. Once I turned in for the night, I got a visit from KK Slaughter. I woke up the next day to be greeted by a wonderful itemized bill. Any Animal Crossing will understand the forever debt you're in in this game. Next, I got a Nook phone, which has many interesting features on it, such as a map, critter encyclopedia, pattern maker, passport, DIY recipes, camera, and the biggest feature, the Nook Miles. This is a new way for a player to pay off their debt and purchase some interesting items. So instead of a debt of 50,000 bells, my bill was only 5,000 miles. To earn miles, you complete tasks around the island, such as catching things and selling things, and so much more. The next day consisted of collecting fruit, pulling the weeds on my patch of land, making tools using the island's resources, using my fishing rod to catch many different fish, and my flimsy net to catch bugs. After giving some bugs and fish to Tom Nook, I was able to pick a spot for Blather's tent and the site of the future museum. This is where you can donate fish, bugs, and fossils to put on display for all to see. This was where my stream ended, but I still decided to play some more. Here's what happened. I crafted a flimsy axe that allowed me to gather wood from the trees. I was chased by a tarantula until it bit me, I passed out, and magically woke up in front of my tent. I found a rock that gave me money, my flimsy axe broke, as well as my fishing rod. I got more miles, I crafted myself a watering can. I created a cute fox design with my custom design tool, and received even more miles. I learned a recipe for a slingshot and crafted that too. After that, I had plenty enough miles to pay off my debt. I paid my miles and I was ready to upgrade from my house. Being a homeowner, now I unlocked a new way to spend my miles as well as more debt. The construction started right away and it would be finished the next day. My Nook mileage program received an upgrade with my house purchase. For this, it gives me more tasks that I can buy stuff as well as get more miles. After that, I decided to call it a night and wrap up day one of Animal Crossing. Welcome back everybody. This is the first video, second episode, I don't know what we're going to call it, of Animal Crossing New Horizons by Calico Fox Gaming or Rachel, that's me. We can see Gulliver lying on the beach. Maybe we're going to meet him today. I don't know. Let's get started. TV. We just did a... Oh. We just did a live stream of the first episode, and it was kind of crazy. So if you watch the recap beforehand, hello everyone. It's Tom, Mr. Tom. Oh dear, I'm so sorry about that. I was a little loud there. <laughs> hello everyone. Starting today, I'll be doing an online wine broadcast full of updates going on and such. Hmm? I'll go over some things that are very important to island life. So lend me your island ears for a short time. What about my regular ears? What about them? Now, it's only fitting that we kick off, kick off this daily ritual with a doozy of island announcements. <laughs> the Calico Fox Airport is now open for business. Starting today, you can use online or local communication to fly other islands for your visit. Neat. 
That's not all. No, no, the airport counter offers postal services. And just like the residential service center, the airport is open 24 hours a day. So please drop by for a look. Oh, I do have one other item to share. And it, too, is a Whopper. Uber Whopper. Hmm? Blathers! Blathers will be joining us. I love Blathers. Keen interest in a biology, past and present, and he's here to study. I sincerely hope everyone lends their cooperation. Enjoy your day. Anyway, I was saying, if you were one of those people who stuck around for my stream, thank you so much for being with me on my first ever stream ever. But if you are, but if this is your first endeavor on my series, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh, look at my house! It's so cute! There's my flowers. This is my hoard of things that I'm going to donate to the museum. <laughs> look how little bushy looks on. What's the inside look like? <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I could turn off the lights? Oh, that's so cool. Open storage. Turn on and off the lights. Enter decorating mode. Open the storage. That's awesome. Oh, there's different types of lights. That's so cool. I'm gonna scooch that by the window because who doesn't love a window right by their bed? Put my switch there. Ha ha, decorating mode. Oh no, this is storage. Cool. Oh, this is cool. This is a decorating mode. Oh, this make this makes this so much easier. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this later. Cause I don't really have a lot of stuff to decorate. So let's go take a little island tour of what we've got so far. My map will pop up in the corner down there. That is my map. Let's go check it out. Let's go check out. We got the plaza. Oh, the fire's gone and now it's a little bitch. That's cute. Oh, 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 I can sit that way. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. Got a little leaf umbrella. So, a little bit about me. I'm Rachel. I live in the good old north of the the good old United States. The number of homeowners is increasing. I agree that we need to build a shop. However, when it comes to building supplies, our customers should take priority. You know everyone who's just good old Nook's Cranny and he had like two items for sale back in the day. He didn't even have, he didn't even have pants, I don't think. Tom Nook didn't even have pants back in the day. I think he had just an apron on. I think. I don't know, I, but I just, the good old days back in the wild world. Ah, this is a piece of cake. Ha, huh, they heard me talking about his lack of pants. Hello there, Rachel. Are you happy with your home? Is it meeting your expectations? I bet you're a lot more comfortable now. Well, considering the fact it's raining now, I would probably be a lot happier than a tent, than I was in a tent. I can change up my flooring and my wallpaper. I've got some built-in storage. That is such a nice feature. I don't have to buy a wardrobe. There's so much more. All homeowners are automatically registered with a Happy Home Academy. Hooray! I'll give advice to send rewards whose houses get high ratings. Their evaluations won't intrude your day-to-day -day life, so there's no need to worry. Yay, my home loan! 98,000 bells. Can I pay in miles? Can I pay in layers? Trident layers? Oh, I'm sorry. That was a special offer. Okay, that's fine. I'll just sell all of my weeds and stuff. Wait, no. I don't have weeds. I got rid of them all. Oops. Paid using the wonderful little ATM that is from the old games. Think about everything I need to tell you about homes today, but I do have a nice surprise for you. I do hope you're ready for this. It's a premium Miles Redemption. A Nook Miles Ticket. A Nook Miles Ticket? Nook Miles Ticket is a special travel voucher you can only get by redeeming your Nook Miles. Deserted Island Magic. 
Where do you think you fall? Let me stick it. Island hopping. Oh, yeah, because apparently there's another deserted island you can visit besides your own deserted island. What concept? Is that Islandception? Inception? Islandception? I can go to that airport. Dodo Airlines. Neato. What do you have to offer me today, my friend? I had mail I never checked out. I just realized that because I ordered a t shirt yesterday. No pressure. Uh, it's a bit of a proposal, sure. Very good. I'll get right to the point. I'm hoping that you might be interested in collaborating with a new venue building. Do I have to give you money? What am I doing? Water inventory, goods, but it's very limited in here. Yes, that is correct. We are in a tent. With a fearless leader. <laughs> if they're hit, that, they're, that's his uncle. I think I like how they call uncle fearless leader. Ah, but here's the thing. Building materials is- oh, so I have to gather stuff. Oh, that's not so bad. Really, I- really, I don't see it since we'll get those materials for the project. But I have an idea! Yes, yes, we can gather materials. Trees and rocks. An environmental review even suggests that there will be zero impact. Oh, look. They're being eco-friendly. But I'm getting off track! I need a lot of materials. How much is a lot? Okay, sure, I'll help. It's the same thing. Thank you so much. I wish when I was happy I had flowers come out of my face. Now, I know this is a lot, but I put together a list of things I'd like to gather. We need 30 pieces of regular wood, hardwood, and softwood, and 30 iron nuggets. See, I need a shovel, but I know I get a shovel from Blathers, and I'm going really soon today. You can gather these materials at your own pace. Once you have a set of something, you can see me. Neat. Neat, 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 neat. Can I still buy things from you? Bob in the shop. I want to sell. What's for sale? Does it change? I had an. Oh, it does. A camp campfire cookware. That's kind of cool. And a handy water cooler. He had one of those like blow up sofas yesterday. Tools. That's the same. Yeah. Change your mind? Sorry. Sorry, my dude. I just want to see if there's anything new in here, too. Does this change? Once per day. Oh. I get it's yeah. Please select from the following services. Redeem your nook miles. I can't imagine this changes. Yeah. Wait, is that? No, they're all the same. I need to get more miles so I can upgrade my hair because my hair in the game does not look like my hair now. I have pretty pretty short hair. It does not go past my ears. Camping cot. Oh, the clothing has changed. I got, I got a other rubber toes, rubber toes sneakers, Cake Eye Island. I need to like look up what this music is so I know what it is before I buy it. Like my hat, to do, to do. Hat. I got it from. Where did I get it from? I think I got it from Axel. One of my good old friends. Speaking of friends, I should probably go visit my neighbors. Because I get nook miles for vis for talking to my friends on a regular basis. Dream house. Yay. <laughs> one room loner. Ain't that a title? <laughs> I'm a one room loner. I guess I suppose it's if you're living in a studio apartment by yourself. Oh my gosh, see, I don't have my shovel yet. I can't take that. Oh my gosh, look at the slug! Or snail. That's a snail, not a slug. It's a snail. Can I catch him? I want to catch him. And, and like, keep him in my house, because he's adorable. Yes! I caught a snail. It's not much to brag about. I don't know. You can brag about everything. Be proud of your accomplishments. Every single one of them. Stick. All right, there's rocket. I see rocket. Hey, look, another snail. I got a snail. Look at his little eyeball things. They like go into his face. <gasps> oh my net. <laughs> my net. Sup, Rachel. Sup, Rocket? I heard you get your stuff together for a shop. That's right. You're gonna give me stuff? Oh. Wait. I got an idea. Gathering stuff for the shop, you might want this. Oh, wait. 
You gave me a shovel. I thought Blathers gave me a shovel. Maybe I get two shovels. Shovel squared. Awesome. Thanks, my my gal. What's new, Vroom? What's the latest? Congrats on the house. Looks like Tom Nook really came through. What's it like inside? You better invite me over. Of course. Party at my house. My tiny house. Oh, I love I love Blathers. He's a cool dude. I wonder if Celeste is gonna come back. I don't think that was ever confirmed. Oh look, there's like a little fish tank in there. <laughs> Ooh, a pleasure to meet you, Miss Blathers. I'm really excited the ecosystem. Ah. <laughs> the person who's who chose the location of this tent? I am. That's right. What a job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to... <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> I'm so excited for the museum. Like, I see all the, like, teasers for it and how cool it's gonna be. I also love, like, the details in this game. Like, you can see the mesh in the hat and, like, the water running in that little fish tank over there. Smallest problem regarding the museum. I lack the number of exhibits. See, he's a talker. He's not a gatherer. Which is where you come in. Allow me to explain. You see, it's not only insects and fish at display. It's fossils too. Remember when there was art? And you had to get art from Crazy Red? And you had to tell what you had to figure out which ones were real and which ones were fake, and if you just uh, you could end up like losing all your money from buying fake art that wouldn't get accepted. Good times, good times. Pardon me, Rachel. While I transmit the vital data to your Nook phone. Oh, they're texting. We're an exclusive club. Oh, he's got a cute case on his phone. It's like plaid or like that argyle pattern, like his stomach is. I got a vaulting pole! Yeah, I can hop across the rivers now! <laughs> and I got another shovel! I got two shovels! Shovel squared! This is good because I'm probably gonna dig up everything. Or, to, or when I find that money rock. If I open up the museum, I must acquire more items. Fifteen to be. I can do that in one day. Tomorrow we're gonna have the museum. So cute. Bye, Blathers. I probably could have given him the snail I had in my pocket. Is that a snail in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> Sorry. Wait. Oh, I didn't get two shovels. I thought I gave it. So that is not what I wanted to do. I want to hit this rock with a shovel. Haha! -ha, I got a bug! But I lost my net. It's a roly poly! It's a roly poly! Where's my other villager? Axel. Is he, is he in his tent? Can I visit? Yes, I can. Why do they get round tents and I got a pointy tent? Is there a reason behind that? See, this is he's got the shirt that I want. He's got the Modi shirt, which is the Japanese kanji shirt. It means forest. Is he gonna give me another shovel? <gasps> What is that? Iron nuggets! What can I build with that? I can build something with that. Oh, it's my own craft table. Later. Wait, did I get my Nook Miles? Does that count as talking to him? Or do I have to go in and, like, actually talk? Excuse me. Uh, mama, mama, you got the bug. I don't want to get bugs. Freshly delivered egg. That is me. Island togetherness. Ta yeah, so it doesn't count. So I have to go talk to him again. <laughs> Back of the day. No, I don't hit the tent with the shovel. Huh. <sighs> do do do. Okay. He's got. He's like always happy. I guess this is my house is really comfy. I wonder when they get tents or when they get houses. One thousand six hundred and ninety-four push-ups. This guy, this guy has got, he's got a lot. I wonder if he does not with his arms or if he does it with like his trunk. 
He's like doing push-ups with his trunk. Oh my gosh, that was so cute! Did you see how he waved? He just like stuck his arms out in front of me, in front of himself, because he he's got a big elephant belly. They can't, they can't clap. I wonder if I'm going to see color. <gasps> Message in a bottle. Copyright. What is it? What is it? What is it? I got a DIY recipe. Wooden table mirror. Cool. Mm. Huh. Okay. Sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for a wooden table mirror. I can hopefully do that and then I'll be able to edit my appearance. I need to go get, I need to go dig up that shiny spot on the ground. There's another snail. I got found money on the ground. Look, I dug up a hundred bells. <laughs> Look at that. Many things that I wish happened in real life. Oh, 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 oh the poor little snail. You see that? <laughs> Oops, dang it. Coordinating. I'm not very coordinated. I'm not coordinated in real life. And obviously, it doesn't. Animal Crossing, it doesn't do the same thing. But that's okay. You can't. You can't do an Animal Crossing wrong, unless you're me at age like nine in 2005, when this game came out. I, 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 I did like all the tasks where you have to give like the villagers their. Oh my God, it's Gulliver. We, I want to I wanna collect the beach and come back to him. Where you have to give all of the villagers their um, gifts and whatnot and do all of that stuff. And I was stuck. I couldn't figure out the... You had to go post it in the bulletin board because I, was, I didn't read any of the text. I didn't understand. So I got through this whole... I got through the whole thing. And I was just selling... I was selling flowers to the Able Sisters because that was the only thing I was able to do. How is your new life treating you? Eating you well? Brushing your teeth? Eating you well. Are you eating well? Brushing your teeth, washing behind your ears. Oh dear, I'm all worried up. Here's a little thing to help out. Place in pocket. My mom gave me a present. Nook shopping. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got I got a housewarming gift. Aw, I'm getting so many gifts. I wish I got this many gifts on a regular basis. Why was that in my pocket? Let's see. Present. Open. Cherries. Aw, hi tea. Yeah, this is what I ordered. Uh -huh. Fun fact about me, I am absolutely fascinated with Japanese culture, and I know very, very little Japanese, but I understand a little bit of the hiragana, and I can read a little bit, and I know some, like, sayings and stuff. Definitely not, I'm not anywhere besides very, very beginner, but I don't know, I saw this and I thought it was fascinating. So let's go, let's go talk to the gull Gulliver who's passed out on the ground. <laughs> that was me yesterday. If you watched the recap of the live stream, yes, last night while I was playing it, I got bit by a tarantula. I passed out and I woke up in front of my tent. No, you are in the blank. <laughs> Think you're so smart. Just... Snick, snick. Sorry, fellas. I already licked all the cookies. I had to test for raisins. <laughs> What the heck? Yum, 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 yum. Alright, I'll talk to him one more time. Really fun waiter. Somebody put salt in this water. That actually happened kind of to me once. So, I w on my first ever cruise that I went on, a couple years, multiple years ago, we were at, like, our main dining and we were eating. And we were drinking some, like, one of our group had, they got water. And they... We tasted it, and there was salt in the water, and nobody knew what the heck happened. But like, we, the waiter like couldn't believe it, so he like took the water to the back and like tasted it. And he's like, "What? I'm so sorry. I don't understand what happened. What we think happened is that somebody like played a trick on him. Like they put salt in his water to like mess around, like a coworker. They were just having fun. Like we weren't mad. It was pretty funny. It just was, you know, when you're having supper, and you are, you know." trying to wash down your food. Salt water is not the way you expect to do that. Ba -ba -da -da, got a vaulting pole. Keep crafting. I need to get another uh, another one of these things. A flimsy net. I want to get a better net. I love the little animation for this. Oh, there's so many things I love about this game. Like the animations and 
the like art and everything. Is there anything else I can craft that's worth it? Should I craft my own crafting table or should I wait? Oh, I can craft the mirror. A table mirror. How, how do I craft it? Nugget? Should I wait or should I do it now? I'll do it now. Bye bye! Made a wooden table mirror. Keep crafting. I should probably craft the wooden table as well. Or I probably should have given that stuff to Tommy. Timmy. Timmy. He, that's that one. Timmy is the one in here. And I could have, you know, done the stuff. Do I have an axe anymore? Is that something I have still? I don't know. But I'm gonna get another one because I know if I'm collecting wood. My pockets are too full for that. Alright. Ooh, I got some more Nook Miles. I kind of like, I really like the Nook Miles idea because I feel like sometimes after a while you just kind of feel like you get stuck into a rut in, with Animal Crossing. Play dirt. Pay dirt. Oh, you find buried treasure. Yeah, sometimes, lucky tip. I feel like you just kind of get stuck in a rut and you don't really know what to do and that's how I always, like, stop playing in my town. Is I just feel like I just get bored but this I feel like is just a forever you can always keep doing things all right what is in my pockets wood wood oh I could probably sell some stuff get back in the gym in and out in and out in and out Kaylin Kaylin uh, she's playing Pokemon. She's like, that was somebody who joined me on my stream yesterday. My friend code is in the description below. If you would like to add me, once I, I will definitely have streams up where we come and visit each other's towns. 100%. Also, if you're liking what you see, feel free to leave a subscribe, drop a like. I don't know if I said that in the right order. But, you know, shows, I appreciate any support. If you're just enjoying it and you're just watching the vid video throughout, that's okay, too. I'm going to be coming up with lots, lots and lots of Animal Crossing content. Because this game is just too fantastic to not. All done. 820! Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go donate things to the museum. I'm gonna go donate bodies to science. <laughs> Cause that's not morbid at all. Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Fish tank light. That's amazing. So if you display them in your house, you can turn the lights on. <laughs> that is amazing. I was gonna clean up, but my pockets are full. All right, I'm just gonna drop some stuff. Drop, 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 just in case anyone needed my commentary, that's what I want. <laughs> I like the days that it's raining. I have a yellow roof. See, I thought, I, I was really like trying to figure out what roof color would be the best and I thought the yellow was going to be a little more vibrant. I know, I know I can change it later. Okay, I'm actually gonna go put this in my house. I was debating on doing black and then I thought pink or purple because, you know, why not? I, I probably will never have a pink roof in real life. Not necessarily because of me, it's because the people I'll be living with will be like, no. Loki. Haha. Should I change my look with a wooden table mirror? Change it up. Uh huh. <gasps> More hairstyles. Oh yeah. Oh, that one's actually kind of cute. Look at that. Right off the bat. Oh my gosh, bedhead. <laughs> that one is really cute. Still not even close to my hairstyle. That is actually probably decently close, but I kind of like this one. I don't know. I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna actually also, my hair is closer to that color. X, accessories. Oh, I see. Oh, that was cute. 
There. Feels more like me. Hermit crab. Hermy. Getting on time. How many of you had hermit crabs as kids? Leave a comment. Tell me. Tell me if you had hermit crabs. If you were if you were one like me and your parents got you hermit crabs as kids. Or you bought them yourself. I had I had I have lots of pets. I enjoy reptiles and all things in that sort, but let me know. If you had hermit crabs, how many, what their names were, how long they lived for, I'm curious. Hermit crabs are pretty cool. They're just not very exciting, especially for kids. They get bored. Kids get bored with things really easily, especially with pets they can't like play with. Let's donate. Make a donation. <gasps> Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Carp. I can only do one at a time? Dang it, I would hope they would fix that. A carp. This is undoubtedly a carp. Mm. Yes, tell me about my carp. Wait. Oh, a carp. Have you ever seen their teeth? Oh my, I carp have teeth? I didn't know that. Huh. I'm learning. They have teeth to crunch on shells and maybe fingers, so don't put your fingers inside of a carp's mouth. The more you know. Bravo, thank you. Once the museum, museum is complete. This is actually kind of interesting. This is just going to turn into an educational channel. I've got something. Marvelous. Bitterling. This is a bitterling. It's so cute. It's really cute. Fascinating facts about the bitterling? Yes, please tell me. Wonderful. I would love to. I would love nothing more. Bitterlings hide their eggs inside inside their large bivalves like clams, where their young can stay until fully grown. <laughs> the bitterling isn't being sneaky. No, they keep their young in their bivalve healthy by eating invading parasites. Huh. It's a wonderful evolutionary deal making, don't you think? Each one keeping one safe. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, eating parasites doesn't sound like a happy childhood. So is that why the fish is so bitter? <laughs> I love the commentary in this game. It is phenomenal. Mm. So, um, while we continue to do this, uh, I suppose to learn a little bit more about me. I said I have pets. I have a dog and a cat. My dog is Keith. Her name is Kitsune. She's a Shiba Inu. I have a cat. Her name is Evie. I, <laughs> I beg your pardon, bugs. I do digest them. That's funny. I have a ball python named Persephone. I have three leopard geckos named Luca, Maria, and Ruby. And I have an African fato gecko named Nubs. And an oxalotl named Sunny. Snails are mollusks, you see. Born wearing shells they cannot remove. Their shells get bigger and bigger as they grow. They might... They must get heavy, don't you know? I would assume so. They leave a trail of mucus, a truly foul form of transportation. <laughs> I wish I could do things like more than once. Just like doop, 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 doop. Do big of them. But, oh well, maybe I can once, um, once, like, the actual museum is built. Because I've got a bunch. How about this? How about I skip ahead? Or I'll do this later. I'll do this in my like recap. When if I play between my next my next episode. I'll stop here because I know this is so exciting to learn more about bugs. Wasps are some kind Wasps are sometimes called meat bees because they eat meat. Meat of almost any sort. Surely you've seen a menace they've made of themselves picnics. Tis hardly the worst of it. Oh, jeez. Jeez. You know, they hunt other insects, they paralyze their prey, and then drag their victims home alive, leaving them for their larva to feed upon. <laughs> That, that, that's pretty, pretty crazy. I like, I, I like this. I like learning. I will, I will do a quick, like, recap of each thing. 
maybe next time. Eleven donations. I have already got a oh because the stuff that I gave Tom Nook. Eh. All right. Winning, 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 winning. So I need four more, but I have plenty in my pocket, so we're good. But. Let's try out this pole. This vaulting pole. Ha <laughs> ha! That's so cool. I got a fossil. So we'll do. We'll explore the rest of the island, and I'm pretty sure that'll probably be what wraps up this wonderful video. Let's see. We don't have the ladder yet. I know the ladder is a feature that you can use to climb up like cliffs and stuff to be able to get to the different levels of your island. Oh, look, a duck. I hope this is where Captain is. I, I need his like witty songs in my life to make me happy. <laughs> I wonder if there's a perfect orange anywhere. If there, oh flowers! I can't get them because they're way, way up there. But oh, this is a really cool spot. You can see like the islands in the background. Oh. I don't know if anyone knows that, but look, you can see the islands in the background, and you can see some like pointy rocks down in the corner over there. I wonder if they're gonna bring back scuba diving. I hope so. Or free diving, I suppose, because you snorkeling. Is that what it was called? I hope they bring that back. That'd be fun. Alright, I gotta. Alright, so there's only one more area I can do. I will get that fossil later. Oh, I didn't know it was a double waterfall. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> That's pretty neat. There's another fossil and we get eat. Yeah, this is the rest of my beautiful island, Palace Fox. Huh. Oh, this is a cute little area. Look, there's like little tide pools. I wonder if you can like put things in there or go fishing in these tide pools and get and that's where you get like clams and stuff. I hope so. I'm gonna catch this guy. Oh, what the heck, man. This game is so, is so much, so great. So many good reviews. It is, so far, definitely not failing to this point. As a big fan of the series, I'm so happy. I also really like, besides the fact that we're in such a weird time, like, socially, with this social distancing and people being not able to work, it's... It's a nice way to be able to, you know, do things. And there's so many people who I've, I know have never played a Harvest Moon, or Harvest Moon, Animal Crossing game before are experiencing this for the first time because of this. And it makes me happy to have other people in this franchise. Why does that fish look so much darker than all of the other fish? Okay, now it's not as, now it's not as bad. It's like the glare was not on the fish, but it was everywhere else. That's funny. Alright. Ooh, who are you? Yes, I caught a black bass. The most metal fish of all. Yeah. But I can't carry anything else. Should I swap it? Uh, yes. I have two horse mackerel in my pocket. Bye. Bye, buddy. I hope you find your dad. Alright. I will redeem my Nook Miles. And... With that, small fry. Bonafita Bone Finder. Cause we're doing the bone dance. Anna Montana? No? All right. Anywho, that is going to wrap up our first actual video, our second installment in our series. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time.